Okay, everyone, welcome back. Uh, I'm switching gears from Hearthstone back to Eternal. I haven't done Eternal for a long time. Uh, or, I mean, a video for it. I've been playing it a lot lately. It's a great, great fun game. Really good for free to play. And let's go over the scrap metal deck I found. It's the first competitive deck I've, I've uh, constructed for uh, Eternal. You have four Combust. These uh, drones here, you have four of them, which is pretty cool because they summon one ones. This deck doesn't have a lot of big threats. Just see how it works. Slumbering Stone, which is good because when it... Entomb, by the way, in case you guys aren't familiar with it, is basically Death Rattle. Same as... Uh, so it's basic thing. When this minion dies, you get a 2-2 Flying Gargoyle. So it's kind of nice. Torch times four does three damage. Really good spell. Dark Wisps. Uh, when it dies... Draw a card. Devour, which is a great card. You'll see the synergy with it. Uh, sacrifice unit. Draw two cards. And get two HP. Quarry, which is new from that uh, bounty hunter pack they just released. Uh, draw one of your uh, two top cards from your deck. Reduce the cost by one. Discard the other. So it does this card, but this deck has a grave uh, your type synergy. This here, which is good to thin your deck. Do one damage, draw a shadow signal from your deck. Summon line, great uh, card. You uh, get three. It is a spell, so that kind of sucks. It could be countered. This Blood Rite is a really good uh, deck. Or uh, basically the burst. This is a combo deck, and this is part of the main combo. You'll see how it works. It kills your... Little minions, you get 2-2 two, two for each. It's really good. Uh, Madness, which is really good for kind of control. Extra burst, stuff like that. This is an excellent card. The Torment um, torrent of uh, Spiders. Get a 1-1 one, one with Deadly, which means Deadly is basically poisonous. Any minion uh, that takes damage dies. So you get additional ones as it goes into the Void. Slug uh, Smuggler Stash, excellent card in this deck because you get two units back. And weapons, so you get this weapon back, and it's pretty pretty amazing because you got the seagulls, which are the maker put there. Diplomatic seal, which is good. Um, seed of chaos, which is really good because you get start getting power going. Seagull influence, and that as well. Stone scar banner. So let's go ahead and queue up. Um, there's a couple things about this game. The mulligan is very very important in Eternal. I think would probably more well. Same thing in Hearthstone, but more so in this. You kind of have to learn on what's best to keep and what's not. Even though this deck technically has a card draw problem with the Eternal, I've noticed, is you get a lot of turns where you have really not much to play. And you start falling behind, but so does your opponent. Card draw, I wonder if they're ever going to address it in this game on a, bet, a larger scale. Because you have 75 cards in your deck, not 30. If it was only 30, it wouldn't be much of a problem. So, let's see. This is actually not bad. Let's see. We have early game. We have, uh... Mm, very tempted to keep this. Um, but... Let's redraw. That's actually him. It's not too bad. Uh, but this is better. Because we got card draw. We got, uh... Okay, so this is definitely better. Especially with the stuff like that. Okay, we'll do this. Get going. Uh, next, we got our two influences for... And this deck only uses, you only like, I think you need two of each, and that's it. Alright, so we're going to put this, we're definitely going to... That way we have one in case he does something we could actually attack with. Alright, start turn. This game's really cool. I'm going to start showcasing more so you guys could see all the... Oh, uh, I thought it was my Gargoyle Hill. Actually, we could do that. Um, but we're going to do this first. To get more influence. Uh, sacrifice a minion and... Uh, is actually not bad, but we're going to do this. We'll keep it on there. Alright, so we definitely want that over the shadow. We'll put it down on the board, and then we'll go. Yeah, this game has interactive board, not quite as... All right, what is this here? Well, actually, that's good, because I get a free... Uh... 
minion on board because of it, because it's going to wipe out one of my minions. Give an enemy, yeah. So what it's doing, then I get the proc for free. So that is actually excellent. Uh, attack. And hopefully I'll, I'll go over the game if you guys are familiar with it. Okay, so we got two minions. We could actually do that and get going. But what we're going to do is sacrifice that minion. Oh, oh, okay. Really good. We have really good. We're going to play that. I'm pretty sure I'm doing misplays. But we're off to a decent start. Um, this is really good because I could combo it. I don't have quite enough. I need another power in order to do that. But this is a really good combo because I can steal that and get... Um Man, if we only had one more, we could do it, guys. We're going to have to be a little bit patient. I'm not too concerned about the two powers, so we're going to go ahead and attack. All right, so let's see what we do. We could actually do this in the next turn, Sacrifice. That gives us two more options, which I'm going to play that. And he could, the reason it pauses is because he could technically counter it. All right, so we got some juicy stuff for our weapon. Uh, another thing I like love about this game is with the weapons, it kind of is a hybrid. It acts like a... Um, that's not that good. We get power. We don't have power, right? So what we need to do is we could actually steal, go face... And sacrifice one of his minions, but we still don't have enough power to do that. So, what we're going to do is this. Hopefully, we get the. Uh... Yeah, the reason I'm positive is because he could actually. Ooh, hold on. No, I don't have enough. Okay. Oh, man, that is so good. I hate to lose it. I could actually sacrifice and take one of his minions, but we need power. All right, so do that. So we have three we could steal, but we're not going to. We're going to, whoops, wrong one. We're going to do this. So we're going to chill right now. This is going to be a really good weapon. Um, next turn we could do some good stuff. Hopefully he'll put a nice big minion like him on. So we're going to go for a little surprise. This is why I really like this deck. All right, so we're going to... We have six. We definitely have enough. We steal. He has a uh, quick draw, so we're gonna. Are we gonna attack with everything? We're definitely attacking with that. Definitely attacking with that. We're not gonna attack with. You know what? We're gonna only attack with the flying. Reason being, I do not want these guys to die. You'll see reason why in a few other turns, but. Um, Yeah, actually, you know what? I am, I am gonna attack. Reason being is because you'll see. I don't want to hit my weapon with these guys. Hopefully, he'll block. Oh, he doesn't. Wow, I'm really kind of surprised by that. Maybe because he figures he's gonna get this back. Actually, we're gonna do this. And that's what's all awesome about this deck. Uh, the weapons work different in this game. You have to attack a minion if it's in play. You cannot go face. Uh, but the minion's attack takes away the dexterity of the weapon. So if he had an 8 attack minion, let's say, and I went bam, I'd obviously lose the weapon. So I really like that. Well, that's actually really good because it's going to take out my weapon. So you see, he was able to do that. So right now he gains a lot of tempo and he uh, actually might be turned around the the game because I don't have any. I do have card draw, but I don't have any minions. I do have a lot in the void, though. If I could get that back, I'm not going to win this now. I'm just going to take too much damage. Oh well, can't win them all. But anyways, th that's the principle of this uh, deck. Is a lot of cool combos. Obviously, I'm way behind. I'm not going to win. Uh, this is the issue I, I find with uh, this game is you have turns where you have just nothing in hand to play okay can we steal anything let's steal that but it's still too little too late let's go attack uh, 
Because if he block, oh, he's not going to block. He might block, but even then, let's do this. Hey, he does block good. So, we're going to sacrifice this and get two cards, and hopefully we can get something that uh, will help us swing this game around. One's not going to make a difference. I have to get a card draw. Actually, that's good. Reason I could actually combo to get rid of him next turn, so that's actually really good. That actually saved my ass, but I'm still far behind. Now, if I get the smuggler stash, I could potentially win this. Because I could get that awesome weapon back, so we'll see. Anyways, this game's a lot of fun, guys, and if you're really interested, give it a try. It's free-to-play, very generous for free-to-play model. You get rewards, on, I think, every win and ranked. Hopefully, I get a win so I can show you, and then uh, it's really good. And I'm going to showcase a direct... Oh, that's bad. Rex. All right, so we're going to block, and we're going to do this. Hopefully he can't counter it. If I don't think his deck does, but he, if he does, then it's bad. If not, then um, it's really good stuff about this game. Is you could what? Oh man, he has quick draw. Damn it! All right, so do this. There's nothing we could do. I forgot quick draw. Anyways, if he didn't have quick draw, what quick draw does is it is it if a blocking if he kills a blocking minion and he lives, he doesn't take damage. Anyways, that was a good game. But, uh, I mean, I could have technically gone, but uh, I don't think, don't think it's going to uh, matter. Let's see if we could get a win, though. Come on, let's keep going. Huh? One more. Games in Eternal tend to be really long, but this deck's a lot of fun. But the issue, and I think you guys saw it there, is card draw. I'm pretty sure I had misplays, too. I'm still new to the game. But the problem is you just sit there with nothing to draw, nothing to play, and... Um, he was able to turn it around with uh, with that buff to remove the weapons. So, other than that, he would have most likely lost if he didn't have an answer for my ten eight weapon when he got rid of it. But uh, it's good, good stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and okay, what do we have here? Okay, woo, if I only had that last game, it would have made a huge difference. Okay, this is definitely not a good hand because there's nothing on early game. Okay, this is much much better. Even though I don't have shadow, I still could uh, get the fire going and stuff like that. But anyways, Eternal's an excellent game. A lot of flexibility, a lot of strategy to it, and I love the way uh, it uh, does um, in the game. It's it's a lot more thought into it than some other card games. You could. So next turn, we don't have anything. So you see, I mean, uh, my mulligan's not that great. If, if I had shadow... I would have been able to get the influence out there by now and played these, but that we could not too threatening. We could technically clear it, but we're not going to. Oh, wow. Okay, see what I'm talking about? I need shadow. If I got shadow, I'd be able to get these guys out there and then sacrifice to get card draw. But we'll see. And he's taking. A, we're gonna have to kill this. And then we'll kill that later. Actually, that was bad. I should have killed that right away. Wow. See, this is such a bad hand. And I don't have influence for to play him. If I do, I could actually get a really big buff. But It's amazing. There's a lot of games where I have too much influence or powered cards and not enough cards. Then sometimes it's like this. All right. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is the core problem I find with this game. Just too many turns where you have nothing. And that's because of the deck size. 75 decks is a card for so much. All right, well, well, we got something. If we don't get anything, we're going to have to sacrifice soon. But we can't because we don't have any influence. So, for Shadow. And we need a... Uh, we need, uh, for our hand, we're really clunky right now. Mm. But anyways, 
when this deck works, it works well. There's some card draw issues in this game, and uh, at least that's what I think. And the mulligan, maybe the first mulligan I had was better, but I don't know. We'll see. Flying, uh, in case you guys aren't familiar, flying minions can only be blocked by other flying, so these normal minions can't. Oh, man, this is what I'm talking about, right? We're not going to attack. Because he'll just block and... Actually, it probably be a good idea, but... We need minions. So this is a perfect example. Two games in a row where the card draw is just too too much of an issue. And I'm way behind. There's no way I can win this game now. I would have to have huge swings and then... Uh, yeah, this is just... Yeah. <laughs> There's just no way. Let's try again, guys. Two losses in a row, but this is the core problem I have with Eternal. Uh, there's just so many times where you just have nothing to play in your hand. And I don't like that. Each turn you should be able to do stuff. But on average, though, you, you don't usually run into it all the time. But when you do, it sucks. That's why the mulligan is so important. But hopefully we could get a win. Third time's a charm. And no matter what, this is over because it's getting way too late. I should be in bed anyways. Q's kind of slow. Usually it's pretty quick. Alright. This, though, is really good because this will give me influences. This isn't so great. That's good. That's good. Alright. So we're definitely keeping it. So Mulligan's very important. This is good for tempo. Obviously getting, once I get some minions, I don't have any minion card but that. But this is, if I would have had this last game, I could have probably been in there much, much better start. So I get the two influences for both, so that means I could technically play this. Unfortunately, I don't have no power. I didn't think of that, too, but uh, we will definitely play this. What is that? Oh, we definitely got to get rid of that. And that buffs his um, war cry is a buff. Every time the minion attacks, it buffs a uh, card in his deck, so... So we could do this. That's actually going to have to be sac. We're going to have to sacrifice so we could get a card draw. This uh, is such an awesome. Uh, which one are we going to? We're not going to block. That's we'll leave. We're going to sacrifice that. All right. I wonder if he's going to attack. We're just going to do this. I don't think this is one, but we'll play it anyways. Yeah, because I already had two over, over, so it's just kind of a dead card, but it does give me a... Uh... Wow. Well, There's no way I can deal with that. I'm going to have to get a minion on board to sacrifice it. So when they get buffy, buffy minions like that, it's actually really good. Oh, uh, let's see here. What do we have? We don't have enough there. We could... Uh, do we have enough? Let's see. Three minutes. We could do this. Uh, that's not going to die because it basically has a divine shield, but next turn when he attacks, I will kill it because it, that many could go haywire. Uh, we only have one spider, so that's not good. We might have to play it for tempo. Oh, that's bad. We're not going to block. We're going to take the damage, though, because um, there's nothing we could really do. All it does is going to kill one of our minions. I don't know if that's a good idea. Uh, we're we're gonna lose this game, but he, he only has one card. We don't have any other synergy stuff. I guarantee that uh, my uh, mulligans need a lot of work. Yeah. Oh, this is good. This uh, is really good because I could get some stuff, but we need to kill that. He's probably gonna not attack, uh, but we'll see. Uh, those deadly is good because it's basically like poisonous and uh, hearthstone where if any minion that takes damage hopefully he can't buff it to where he protects it if he does that'll be pretty devastating 
Uh, but once we... We gotta kill that. Uh, we're not gonna block. Um, we're gonna save that. We're gonna kill it probably... Ah, we gotta kill it, though. It's gonna get so much... Yeah, reason I'm doing it is because, um... He's gonna keep buffing his hand. So I don't want that, uh... Otherwise, I... Ooh, this is excellent. We need to get more minions on board, and it sets up for our weapon. And we could sacrifice. We're not... We actually could attack, reason being is because uh, we have minions, so let's go ahead and do that. Normally you'd want to wait because you could use them for blocking. I love the blocking structure. Alright, so next turn we have a lot. Um, uh, we're going to... If he attacks with that, we're going to kill... Uh, charge. Okay, well, that's okay, but we're going to do... Why would he... Oh, okay. We're going to do this thing. We don't have enough. Damn, we don't have enough mana. We don't have enough mana, so we didn't get enough uh, power cards to do, but it would be cool to sacrifice. Uh, but we're going to actually... Uh, we're going to do this. Reason being is because he's going to block. And if he blocks... That gets killed, and I don't have to use any of my minions. We're not going to attack with all. We're going to do this. Eight surprise damage. This deck can be really, really good. Unfortunately, um, this doesn't have... Oh, no, good. It doesn't have that divine shield. Unfortunately, I can't... Didn't have enough mana to do the combo like this. That way... You know what? I'm not going to block. I'll take the damage. Um, oh, Shadow's so good. We could have a chance to winning this. We're not going to attack with both. We only need... We're going to be safe and we're going to keep uh, two active just in case he has some kind of way to deal with one of them. I don't want to lose the... No, I'm not going to do this just yet. Not yet. Not while this big beefy minion's on board. Uh, but we definitely need to start sacrificing. Okay, start turn. Oh, wow. That's really, really good. Uh, we're going to do this. We're going to sacrifice it so we can get card draw. Oh, wow. Next turn we could deal with that. Oh, well, nice, nice, nice. We do it this turn. If you can't counter it, he loses a beefy minion. We're going to do that. He has nothing on board. Next turn, we're going to have a big surprise, and that goes into this group. We could potentially get this back. This deck is a lot of fun, guys, but like I said, the card draw is a real bad problem sometimes. All right, we're definitely doing that. We're doing... Uh, no, we're going to wait. Let's do this attack because we're going to do... You know, I don't know, we're going to get a nice bit of surprise damage here. The next turn we'll do that. We also have... We don't have much, but we could get this... If we get the smuggler's stash, uh, really good. We have lethal, uh, unless he could deal with... Um, Well played, well played. Let's do this. We have to attack that minion. He's not going to block. The only action kind of has to, right? He's going to take two damage. Uh, he's. It'll be, it depends on what we get. If we get something, we could sacrifice it. Oh, well, we could do that. Uh, and it doesn't matter. Either one's good because watch. It's one, right? Let's play the safe bet here. Actually, hold on. We're not. If he can't counter it, he's done. And there we go. Well played. Perfect. We did get to showcase that deck pretty per perfect. Up. Uh, uh, pretty perfect. Well, not perfectly, but at least to get a good idea. Two losses, though. That I do have a positive win weight for the deck. It's a lot, a lot of fun, and I will most likely in the description put the deck information. Uh, but uh, eternal, um, yeah, card draw. 
and uh, sometimes you get flooded with nothing but power seagulls and you have nothing to play and then you have times where you do get cards where you still don't have anything to play anyways guys I hope you enjoy this and I will definitely be doing more um, eternal in the future and uh, Elder Scrolls Online Legend and then a new card game I'm starting up I didn't get a chance to play it today but it should be a nice little surprise okay guys and of course Hearthstone will always be the main focus of the channel. Bye, guys. And I forgot. Every time you get a reward, rank win, you get a chest. Sometimes it, so after three, you get the silver one. And then I got a daily done. So I want to show you guys the rewards. You get gold, you get a card. So this game rewards you pretty substantially, and I love it. Look at the gold. It's so much easier to get than Hearthstone. Uh, let's see if we get out of here. Oh, I don't think I have her beautiful art, by the way. Play four more Borderlands Wave Keepers Keeper and plus one attack and flying. So it's a shaman. Shaman tag. It's not, there's no shaman hero in this. Three, no, there is kind of equivalent to it, I guess. But anyways, uh, good stuff. All these other decks are just free to the ones that they give you. But this is the only one scrap metal here that I really uh, in crafted for it in just a quick look at it again in case you guys are most likely put it into the description so you don't guys don't have to uh pause videos if you're interested and you play the game okay guys take care bye